All right, we're here on a conservation easement in Thetford. We've got the landowners, a forester, myself, Sayer, a land steward, and some members from the American Chestnut Foundation. And we found a couple American chestnut trees. This is one of three wild American chestnut trees we found today. Confirmation with leaves that we picked up off the ground. So the first limb is too high to reach real leaf so the classic leaf is canoe shaped about three times as long as it is wide at the widest point which is usually about the middle of the leaf and it has this very very long tip on the front of it like a like the front of a canoe goes to nothing we also have some burrs that fell in the fall these burrs are telltale They're very spiky by now they're brown and they open in the fall and they drop three nuts out each typically. So like the nuts are highly desirable from a wildlife standpoint. And uh, so we don't see those. We found a few that are buried among the leaves that are undeveloped or unpollinated. It does not look to me like these three trees are pollinating themselves. They're just far enough away in the forest here no idea how they got here that's the reality of it but they're very healthy there doesn't appear to be any blight which filled the tree years ago made it functionally el eliminated in the forest and uh, here we have just enough canopy for these three trees that each one can seek out a living and as long as they don't get the blight we hope they'll keep growing they're wonderful trees